right, karibu sana. This is hashtag why in the morning. An interesting update right here, I've just seen it. It talks about uh, Russian President uh, Vladimir Putin wins fifth term, and this comes amid a uh, set to tighten up a grip for Russia, a country he has ruled since the onset of the century. Electoral agencies report that Putin is leading with over 87% of the votes as no credible position candidate so far was allowed to vie, which is an interesting one. So the three-day uh, presidential election started Friday and ended last Sunday, and at least 114 million registered voters in Russia were expected to cast their votes over the three days in the least contested election. And I know <laughs> this comes amid a backdrop of so many things, especially the war happening at, at Gaza. It's just interesting as well. But away from that, before I actually inform you of our topic of today, so I was just uh, scrolling through social media very fast and I landed upon this question that somebody who's posted on Reddit, Nibulcha Danasema, will I ever get a girlfriend? And the comments, I tell you, they are on fire. So let me just ask you shortly, as before I introduce my guest, uh, what can make somebody give up on love that badly? Because this guy is asking, will he ever find a girlfriend? What could be possibly wrong? What do you think about that? And are you in that situation yourself? And somebody just right here told me, there's a lot of men who've given up totally on love because they definitely don't see themselves dating, or maybe they get someone, they, they get dumped, they get someone, they get dumped. So I'm praying for you, please. Uh, but this guy, he'll definitely get someone now that he's posted the question on social media. Anyways, away from that, uh, we have an interesting conversation and we had talked about modern youth and parent relations, especially in the day we live in today. And I'm being joined live by Musita Dennis. He's a University of Nairobi a student. He'll definitely uh, be giving us his insights and his experiences as well. So continue to talk to us on the hashtag uh, Y in the morning and at Y254 channel. And at Brian Sako 101, that is my handle as well. I'll definitely love to hear your, your feedback and resampling it towards the tail end of this conversation. Karibu sana, Dennis. This is your third or fourth time this here? This is the third time. Oh, this is the third time, okay. Yes. So, so let's get into it immediately. First of all, let me, let me just get your reactions on uh, Brian Chiris' death now because he's a boy child. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember we were trying to talk about it in our intro here, and uh, there are so many people who have come out actually to say that, you know, they are supporting his funeral. They'll yes. cater for the expenses. Uh, there's even one celebrity, thank you, RG, that Don said they want the body to be transferred from city mortuary to uh, Kumash, I believe. Yeah, so, but somebody argued and said, you know, he feels like this guy was supported while he was alive, but a lot of people are saying, well, are you, do you, do you bear the same sentiments that, you know, this guy was not supported when he was alive, he was screaming and shouting for help and nobody was paying attention. Mm -hmm. So, Brian Chiri is a boy child, and today yeah. we are told that, uh, girl child is protected by the law but now it's upon the boy child to fight for himself yeah. while brian chira was still alive the several people really mocked him do you yeah. remember the incident when he was a witness of a road accident actually right, it yeah. was some time mm -hmm. back on it's the years back yeah yes mm -hmm. so that's when brian chira became famous yeah this guy went to later facing yeah. uh, mockery on social media mm. and uh, to be honest he has been depressed Right. And uh, things leading to his uh, death, maybe we, we don't just talk of uh, maybe let's say that accident or uh, something that's not. Yeah. Actually, depression also yeah, contributed. So, yeah. when mm. guys now today stand up for him that they are going to support him, give a contribution for his funeral, they yeah. are we today we must say that we should stop living in denial. Well, yeah. this guy was there when they needed him. You remember one of the celebrities called Kasipul? Yeah. One said that uh, this boy, this boy child, when someone is not going to talk to him, we will lose him. Yeah, and he said that. Yeah, he There's said that. There's a place he said that in an interview. Even today when you go to TikTok okay. or IG, you'll see mm. because Paul trying to flash back what he told the media. Right. Uh -huh. And what he said in, his one, of, uh, in one of his interviews, mm. that Brian should actually need someone to talk to him or else yeah. we're going to lose this boy child. And he was the only child actually, I think, to the grandma. Like in the family here, everybody died near to Alikua and he was the only hope to, the grandma. The, only hope to the grandma. Uh -huh. Yes. Really sad. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So uh, I don't know, but it's just sad, really sad, because at this point it's there's nothing sad. you can do. But also it just shows you the nature and the ecosystem of uh, the social media space we are in. People will uh, mock you when you're alive, but when you it's die, everybody is coming at you with flowers and rest in peace. It yeah. just shows the hearts that we have, especially in the digital space. Anyways, story for another day. But since, since on that note you spoke of support, now uh, in terms of 
support now parental support today let's get into family support uh, yes. our question our question of today is whether Zaziana whether you uh, you are still cool with your, your with your parents want to support mm -hmm. do you guys have a relationship and I remember in our intro here I was trying to say you know uh, in our days uh, boy child on a a little bit of a difficult uh, relationship with their fathers yes. and especially only on a the interiors but i believe it's general because at <laughs> there's one of the guests here who told me like it's a stage there's a stage where you disagree with your dad there's a stage where he ghosts you he disappears there's a stage where he supports you and starts succeeding but when you look at today's world um, i don't know if you're a gen z but maybe you can say <laughs> later on do you feel like personally from your own experience do you have a relationship with your mother and your dad and now this depends with today's uh, societal dynamics mm. In today, we will say that boy child actually has a very close relationship with their mother. Exactly. Like, uh, boy child, mm. uh, I mean, like their father. Yeah. Um, what do you I think, think it's so? <laughs> what do you think it's so? Some parents today, you find that, especially fathers. Yeah. Utapata kumbwa mtoto wa kijana, anagopa mwana umu, anagopa babaki sana. Because the, uh -huh. parent, the father is fierce. How yeah, to address is fierce, and yeah. approach him is very fierce. Even yeah. if you address him, yeah. Now, the kind of feedback you'll get from the father, it's yeah. least of your expectations. Mm. So you'll get that the boy child now goes to the mother. And I gravitate and towards mom a lot, yeah. Yes. Because mom is understanding and the soft. Mom is understanding <laughs> and very soft. Okay. And maybe you can find that, uh, now this depends. Yeah. Whatever I'll tell my mother, maybe she will find it so difficult to address this, maybe to help me. For yeah. example, today, let me just yeah. say it. Uh, I'm feeling this feeling. Maybe, for example, uh, in terms of a relationship with my girlfriend or let me say my wife, if I'm married, yeah. I'm facing a lot of difficulties and challenges. Right. And there's this is issue that I should just address to my dad because he's a man the same yeah. way. Like it's a manly issue and he manly can relate, issue. right? Yes. Yeah. But, but you'd rather go to mom than dad? I'd rather go to mom than dad. Why though? Because I feel like maybe manly issues should be addressed by manly energy <laughs> and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and feminine issues should be addressed by feminine energy. Yes. But now it's vice versa. It's but it's true because there's, there's also an African saying that goes, uh, a, a man or a son is who his mother makes him. Yes. Meaning that uh, the first woman you see in your life is your mother. Yes. So she also gives you an example mentally of how women are. Yes. So if you had a reckless demonstration of a mother, you'll always feel like women are reckless. Yes. And I think maybe story and sexuality can come in. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not sure though, but there's people who like, their mother hated them, they hate women like purely, they'll never want to be with a woman. And there's people where fathers hated them, they purely never want to be with a man. So I don't know, but yeah. Do you feel like also in this generation, uh, maybe parents are lenient? Like, um, uh, let me give an example. Uh, I was given an example in our intro where for me, my grandma calls me Baba because Sakwa is his heart, sorry, her dad. Yes. So he call, she calls me Baba, Daddy, all those things. Mm -hmm. And it's so sweet when your grandma calls you that because she values you and she likes to see you as mm -hmm. her dad. But then nowadays, parents of today, uh, remember when you came to Stories of Konda Shule, your dad wants you to get an A minor. But you know you're getting a C. So in today's parents, they're like, I'll just try again next time. Mm -hmm. You know, education is not for everyone. Because way back, education is for everyone. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's a saying that says, education is the key to success. To success. But it feels <laughs> like today, the digital space is the key to success. It has been replaced either way. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's your mindset and sentiments on that. Uh, to be honest, uh, education is the key, to be honest. It's still the key it's to still success. The key. Okay. At times you can be told that, for example, let's say you are looking for a job yeah. and you don't have the papers. Yeah. You call them the academic qualifications. Mm. Actually, you need connections. And they say that new broom sweep clean. New broom sweeps clean. Yes. Okay. Maybe yeah. the relationship now, you f sometimes you can find that the dad now is the breadwinner in the family. Let us just focus on him. Yeah. And then this dad that you are fearing is the one who can give you connections to a certain point. You yeah. are talking of a point that uh, today your grandmother calls you daddy, calls yeah. you all those sweet Baba. names. Baba. <laughs> uh, Which is a good thing or a bad thing? As for me, I'll say t t today we shall not say that it's a good thing. Today. It's but way a back it thing. was. Way back it was a good thing. Why today though? What has changed? What makes it a bad thing today? And way back it was cool. A man should be strong. Uh-huh. Oh, Kitwa Baba, Daddy, Actually, at times back <laughs> when I was in primary, uh, yeah. my head teacher used to tell me that uh, yeah. 
wanakuzwa na nyanya zao yeah. oh let they stay with their grandmothers right. wana dekezwa sana ah. and uh, they don't anything for example today if una gombezo tunaambua washa vyombo and you feel it's something very the whole world is coming down the whole down. world is coming <laughs> to you and you feel yeah. actually I'm being burdened but yeah. if you find someone who has been with their parents uh, mm -hmm. today when i was just reading an uh, an article mm -hmm. i find that uh, when a boy child cries uh, they say that uh, he's weak he's very weak yeah actually today also boy child really goes through a lot but chira chira was crying by the way there's a there's a one of the videos she recorded and he was really crying like way back i think last year last year yes so now screaming for help literally and and, and you people find judge that those people yeah. who come uh, for yeah. his help uh, ve, ve, uh, maybe even you cannot talk about the family mm. when you are talking about the story of uh, Brian Chira mm. you'll say uh, i'll say that well, maybe not all of uh, his uh, family members who are very close to him because of maybe let's say the, f uh, the community was in as it's being told on the social media Mm. But when you look at, for example, those, uh, especially boy, uh, when we, ca we can relate about uh, students, especially from the university, mm. in recent days we've had students committing suicide, uh, especially mm. boy child uh, uh, in yeah. universities. Yeah. I can tell an example of uh, from the University of Nairobi because yeah. I'm... Where you school, yeah. yeah. Okay. The, you find that the boy child, uh, for example, w you can text your parents, you can call your parents, you need help. Mm. In campus we call it Kuinama. Yeah. This Kwenda Kwenda Bila food. Kwenda Bila food. You mm. will find that someone wakes up very early in the morning. Yeah. He has a class from 8 to 5 at, at around 5. Yeah. You're starving on an empty stomach. You decide to call your parents at times. You find it's very difficult. Mm. Today we can say that a boy child, uh, not, let me, let me uh, also include a girl child. Yeah. You will find that uh, uh, today we are living in a digital society right. and uh, everything is being civilized where people are tend to eager the Western civilization. Mm -hmm. uh, in when you compare in uh, 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 in uh, ancient days, yeah, there are certain uh, ads that uh, when you did uh, during those days, siku za you yeah. will be mocked in the society. And now uh -huh. today you find, for example, uh, a girl child dressing. Uh, we call it my dress, my choice. Yeah, I'm a little going on fire. But yeah. now when uh, during those days we used to learn that. Uh, when you dress uh, in such a way during yeah. those days, you'll be mocked and even you can be punished. And if now when you look uh, at, uh, when you compare that in today's, you'll find mm -hmm. that uh, um, a girl child wearing such and then you're passing uh, before your parents and now mm -hmm. this one will now deter the relationship between you and your father and mm -hmm. it can also even lead to a broken relationship with your parents at all. Yeah. You're dressing in such a way, your mm -hmm. mother is also supposed to dress in such a way. Yeah. You'll find your dad yeah. Uh, when we say uh, they call him Wanaome dead be kit command. Okay. So you can find that uh Wanaome Pia na Mezia Mtoto mtu uh na mezia mate mtoto. Baba na mezia mate mtoto. But it's happening, and it's a real thing. I've actually had so many stories now that you've so brought it up. Yeah. Now that relates to yeah. uh today's uh, relationship between parents and uh, do, uh the ancient days. Right. In the yeah. ancient days I believe uh -huh. there were no such clothes and no one was eagering the western uh Mode of the dressing. Mode of dressing. But Kitambo will gonna have go, will gonna have skin, bruh. But I don't think we'll gonna marinda kubwa oh. kamaza holy, <laughs> holy Mary, Mother of Jesus, or Mother Teresa, yes. <laughs> covered from head to toe. Like the, the only part to know any matter. In the ancient day, they had yeah. the uh, societal lord. We can call them uh, the beliefs. Uh huh. Actually, there were some penalties. You say that yeah, yeah, yeah. you are, una pig, how do you call this? A peg. Yeah. A peg. Kele, kele as, tumia mm. kufunga ngombe, especially if you are going uh, tether, uh, tethering. Mm. So, if, uh, if you are told that umepatikana kukesikamu hizo kumezi ya mtutu wako mwate. That's incest, literally. Mm. And actually, Juzi, there was a report saying there's there's the numbers of in incest is may increase sana, especially from interiors. Yeah. Now, yeah. Th this comes in, for example, when uh, uh -huh. you are marrying a wife who comes uh -huh. with uh, the baby, especially a girl child. Uh -huh. You'll find most of the cases, uh, for example, I'm, mar I'm marrying a lady and she comes with a, a daughter. And the yeah. daughter, Pia Meweza, you find that daughter Meweza, Vizuri. Right. Mm. 
ukikaa sana karibu na wazazi wako you will find a very good way of expressing yourself like yeah, you will speak yeah. your mind and yeah. like for example let's say today uh, i was raised up with a nanny since i was born i didn't even see my mother yeah. or my because she was uh, busy working to dad. get money to pay your fees yes. anyways uh -huh. which she had no choice yes. she either has to work pay your fees or stay at home and you don't go to school and so now you see now the communication uh -huh. uh, communication between you and the nanny and the parents will be very difficult. You will mm. find it very easy to address the nanny unlike your parents. The okay. nanny is not there for you. Because mm. you are not after pressure. But she's right. not there to address. You see not some of the movies where mm. someone or a, let me talk, not someone, uh, yeah. a child is being raised by a nanny. Yeah. You saw la it was last year where mm. there's this Kenyan who was abroad who went for, who went to who, who was again, uh, who was looking for a job uh -huh. and then after he had uh, she had found a job in a, a, a brother mm -hmm. a time came when she was supposed to come back in kenya yeah and she was in this wazungu family wazungu family and then they never wanted her to come back or oh, they wanted her to come back again and not go they back wanted to kenya her to come back but right. now the uh -huh. children didn't want Oh, the so kids were against it. The, ki the kids, against the kids it. were the ones rooting out for her. Uh -huh. See, the kids were running to the nanny and leaving behind their parents. Ah, uh, so now the communication. Yeah. Actually, I will say and I will encourage that parents today should actually try and be with mm. their children. Yeah. Even if I told you are busy, that busy. But you mm. should find time, find time and to be talk to your parents. kids. Yeah. Uh, today, I may find something very difficult that mm. this one only now needs my dad. Right. Should address this to him. Mm. But uh, maybe you're now mature and you don't need your dad's uh, <laughs> voice. Uh, I say <laughs> there's no maturity, especially it's uh, uh -huh. we've been told of this. Right. That's something that I can see while standing, my mm. dad can see it actually while seated. Wow, okay. Good one. Uh, -huh. uh I may feel I may feel or uh, let me just talk of this. I'm a boy child. I'm experiencing let me talk of this uh, the sexual uh, uh, education. Actually, you need that. Oh, boy child still need that. There was a time that was an argument whether men need a sexual education as to is a sex hygiene yes. or it should only be diverted to the girl child. And I think it was a dramatic conversation. They were like, Sasa ma boys munafunzo nini? But then uh, I brought in stories uh, mm. circumcision trauma and mm. I pointed out there's uh, people who come from the interior, especially boys when I talk about the interior communities and yeah, yes. their circumcision is done in such a traumatizing way yes. that sure. by the time they'll be 50, they'll still be remembering that painful ordeal. But it was only just a mm. cut, but it was so painful and torture us, but nobody painful. addresses that yeah. anyways, because there is a boy child and sexual hygiene yeah. and sex education, now that you brought it up, yeah. You'll, f you'll find that, uh, for example, let me say those who undergo the traditional way of circumcision, mm -hmm. and those who goes to the, uh, the modern way of circumcision. Yeah. Uh, you can find, for example, you are sharing a blade, for those who are uh, using the traditional way of circumcision, yeah. And they are bleeding a lot, they are crying a lot because they are not e injected. Uh, so it's and called and anesthesia. Yeah. They are not put anesthesia yes. as compared to like anyone who went to Hosi and mm. they, they were just told to memaliza and they're like, oh, to memaliza and you're just walking yeah, out because sure. so you've not felt that torturous pain because of the mm. anesthesia. So <laughs> you will find that, for example, when you didn't even stay close to your parents, but mm. now it comes to a point that you are now going through this cut, the traditional way. Right. You're facing a lot. It can even affect you personally, the psychological way. It yeah. really affects you. Even and physically, the wound takes long to heal. The wound takes long. Yeah. And example, it might even develop uh, into another. Story, uh -huh. Not even told of a story. I've ever yeah. seen this. Uh -huh. uh, they say they say that uh, especially those who feed a lot on uh, uh, red meat okay yeah especially those who feed a lot on red meat ma much proteins especially now the wound doesn't heal very fast yeah and this now traumatizes and it's not medicated it, it, yeah. um it even leads to trauma right you for true. example uh -huh. let's say today you and i we are uh -huh. going through the same cut okay and then you 
out of the room very early, maybe two to three weeks, we uko sawa ushapona, and now you're leaving me behind. Actually, that traumatizes me. You'll go, you start laughing at me. And now oh, that this okay. thing that a boy child yeah. also need the sex education, uh, the mm. S, we call it S, SHR. Right. Uh -huh. So uh, what do you think do you should think be addressed in that uh, specifically? What do you think should be addressed in that with, with parents now? Uh, now, th even before including the parents, this one should be now between the brother and uh, sister. Oh, brother and sister. Brother and sister. Not brother and dad or brother and brother. Mm, let me talk of brother and sister first. Okay. You'll find that, uh, for example, uh, when we began the conversation, I said that you can find the communication between you and parents, it's so... Yeah, it's broken. It's broken. Mm -hmm. And the only person you can find peace with is your brother or your sister. Mm. For example... Or even your nanny. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. For example, yeah. today you can find uh, uh, for the, the girl child going through this the menstrual uh, floor, mm. and then she finds it very difficult to address the mother or to address the father. Mm. And now you are the only boy or you are the only person who is yeah. very close to her and she can actually address that to you. Yeah. So the communication between uh, parents and today youth, it has actually broken. Mm. Uh, some of the parents, I'll say some, I will not say many because I've not come across many of the parents. Mm. You will find that they go on uh, for these forums where they can even learn in online or even go for physical forums. Mm. And they are educated this, uh, especially using uh, through the social media. Yeah. So if I, you'll find some of the ways that a parent can talk to their child, either mm. directly or indirectly. Mm. I may find it very difficult to address my dad, for example, when personally, uh, today, let me call it, uh, there is this thing we call masturbation. Oh, that comes in with porn. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. When you're talking of this, actually, you find that it really affects you and you when you're an addict, especially, uh, I was told that, that uh, the day you start watching this, mm -hmm. it's like bangi, kamu meanga kuacha, it's yeah. actually very difficult. Oh. And then now <laughs> this okay. comes in, when you find that now on your mental health, right? it really affects you. When you're talking about mm -hmm. the mental health, let us start, uh, start talking about the health of your personal health first, of the right. personal hygiene, the sexual mm -hmm. hygiene. Yeah, yeah, You'll yeah, find yeah. very difficult mm -hmm. things like maybe uh, they call it, what will I say? Now, because of uh, uh, lack of uh, the better word to use, I'll say one minute, ma, and all of that. No, <laughs> because of excessive uh, Excess masturbation. Yeah, yeah excessive masturbation. Mm -hmm. so now, just hold it right there. I remembered something. Um, there's one of the guests I interviewed here, Kasema, porn is a stage cowboy child. Mm -hmm. uh, he said it here, Alisema, masturbation and porn is a stage. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know, but he al <laughs> he's he, uh, al -qua campus. He's in still in campus. Yeah. Alisema, it's a stage, but I disagreed because yeah, yeah, not I everybody actually, goes through that. If I yeah. was here that day, I would really <laughs> disagree with, disagreed with him. This is mindset. So it's, oh, it's a mindset. It's a mindset. But then also the question was, uh, where was your parents? Uh, where were your parents while you were watching all these videos? And he said his, he, for him the first time watching an adult uh, mm -hmm. video was when he was in class five, mm -hmm. pretty much too young to even start thinking about the things. Yes, as exactly. As yeah. Someone is exposed to using a phone or smartphone, even in class two. Mm. And then w w watching this comes to especially for example, it's peer pressure and also mindset. It's yeah. peer pressure? It's peer How? Pressure. How can peer pressure lead you to watching adult content? Today, uh -huh. for example, uh, there are those boys uh, in boarding schools who can sneak in with their phones. All right. It's something, yeah. you know. Mm. And now, it comes to a point where you feel like I need to do this. You don't concentrate, you just want to do this thing. Yeah. You cannot address even to your, your peers. Mm. And because you're sneaked in with the phone to school and you, you are someone who is used, when I talk a lot on the expose my friends in Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting because discoveries. Uh -huh. Because of your, per uh, your friends. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's a thing. They'll actually mm. mock you out of yeah. the circle, yeah. yeah. So it excludes you from the rest of the clique. Yeah. And not because I want okay. to fit in, I'll actually have to do what they are doing. All right. Yeah. But also the question is, what did your parents teach you about morality now that you are talking about in relationship this with parents? Uh, parents teaching <laughs> their children about morality, mm -hmm. it's actually very difficult because some of the parents today are committed. Mm -hmm. I'll, I, 
my dad will not find time talking to me about how I should browse my phone, how I should use my laptop, how I should mm. use my gadgets, especially the electronic ones. Le leave alone I gadgets. Let's mm. talk about uh, meeting your first girl or having a, a crush on your first girl because mm. it's a thing. It's a stage, I believe so. Sure. <laughs> so if you here you are in Form 1 or I don't know, most stories I've had in Form 1 or mm. others immediately after Class 8 mm. or even in Class 6, 7. So you've, you have a crush on this chick and probably the connection is really connecting. The Bluetooth device is really a hundred percent. But then your mom, I don't know if it's your mom or your dad should be the one to tell you that, hey, what you're going through is, is not a real thing, mm. but I'm glad I appreciate you that you know, you're know you interacting with women at this young stage. At least it shows you'll not be gay anyways. Mm. But <laughs> I don't know uh, the relationship that you know a dad should have with mm. a son to a point like one be a dad. Hey, dad, I think I have a girlfriend. And have you personally ever told your dad or your mom, hey, mom, Nikona, I'm super. Uh. And what <laughs> was her reaction? <laughs> to be honest, to be honest, no one will ever tell the parents that they have a girlfriend. Why not? <laughs> because <laughs> I believe your mother should be asking, eh? so you're calling them to so what's not happening uh, in your no, campus. That comes in uh -huh. When you're in campus now, that one is understandable. Because it's a secret and nobody is watching. Yeah. <laughs> when you're in high school, they'll tell you, focus. Uh -huh. university, Which is not true, right? <laughs> <laughs> it is not true. <laughs> ah, okay. So now you see the relationship. Now me addressing my dad, that uh -huh. dad, I found this chick. Mm. I, I would really love to have uh, some affairs with the chick. Yeah. What could be a possible addressing reaction that, from a your possible dad? Possible reaction. <laughs> First of all, uh -huh. my dad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why you? <laughs> <laughs> why? But the Bono Mabuchi child one of a very hardcore relationship with their dads. Actually, 90% <laughs> when you know, even men who are married, there's mm. still like relationship. Yeah, can your dad, it's, Very but well. mom, it's up there. But daddy continue, why? Why is it so, especially in African traditional? You know, you must act like the, you, you, you are the head of the family, you are the dad. Okay. And you, there are some things that you should not uh, entertain in the family. If I'm at form two and I'm telling you that they have a girlfriend, so, which is yes. actually the right stage to tell your dad you have a girlfriend in form uh, two? In form two. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The because now that's where you start your puberty. Like it's so in fact, that's where your puberty starts okay. ending. Having a girlfriend, yeah. that is not uh -huh. a good thing. But having Oh, it's not a good thing. Sorry, having a girlfriend is a good thing. Okay. But having girlfriends, uh -huh. it's not a good thing. Okay. So when I'm telling my dad that I have a girlfriend, my dad will ask me, yeah. Now, since you are a man, because you found a girlfriend, yeah. I want you now to start your family. Yeah. Uh -huh. Which is now very difficult. I find out you are dating, maybe you impregnated someone. Especially girl child. Let us also focus on the girl child. But girl child are usually given a soft treatment with fathers. Do you know that? I'm not saying all, but from the story. Told of a story and even yeah. since I'm... Uh, you're in campus, you uh -huh. already know what is good for you and what is bad for you. Mm. You actually have the wisdom. Okay. But at all, for example, you got pregnant while in campus. Yeah. And then you are going home maybe f uh, for a short, uh, let's say for a long break, a long holiday. And yeah. you go home while pregnant. Do you know, I've heard some of the stories that no parent or even a mother will allow you to stay with them. Some of them until you go back from uh, to whoever gave you the uh, the pregnancy. Rudy Komanyali Kope. Rudy Komanyali Kope. <laughs> and now, now this one leads to depression. Oh Where you boy can boy. find it that <laughs> someone right. Amamua Kujua. Mm -hmm. And now you see, if I will uh, sat down with my parents and told them, mm -hmm. actually made a mistake. And because I've had uh, that flushing uh, or aborting may lead mm -hmm. to death and actually it, uh, very high risks, especially while aborting. Kufa. Yeah. I mm. found it so ethical that I should um, I should just uh, raise up the pregnancy. Mm. Is it is it a reason why uh, birth control uh, drugs are so on demand, especially in campus students? Mm. Actually, there's a stunt that was done. They're saying P2 eco way up there on demand. Now, I'm advanced. Like you, I, I hear I hear there's even one like you get a yearly injection and oh. you'll never get pregnant. You know, you and funny thing is people don't fear uh, HIV. They're mm. afraid of getting pregnant. Uh, so uh, they rather you rather get AIDS 
than say breaking news I'm pregnant, which I was feeling like it's safer here you were pregnant because Utazana life in the lane mm. than HIV, it's terminal. There's this president know. of Warsaw, we call it Warsaw, the okay. university level, uh, her name is Madam Esther Gitaranga. Okay. She's the one championing uh, for the girl child. Yeah. And told of a story yesterday in a WhatsApp group discussion. Mm -hmm. They were talking about you can, the best way you are, you are, you are just addressing uh, about the P2, some of the contraceptions, you get a one injection or using the pills. Yeah. You can even go to, some, especially when you now you fear to address even the doctor, na umepitia rafiki yako. Because now I want money, you'll address mm -hmm. me to then uktafti a panadol sinukulete. And yeah. actually one of the person, uh, one of the girls yesterday pointed a, uh, pointed a point that uh, uyu alipewa panadol. You are given, <laughs> uh, you went for the P2, <laughs> nani connection with the power. Yeah. And then, unenda... Kacheswo. Yeah, you kacheswo, apwa panadol. You don't see any difference. But oh, I so, so the, I the, co the contraceptive was to do what exactly in this situation? To flush yeah. out the pregnancy? To, to flush out the pregnancy, actually. Oh, okay. But now, if I told, I told my parents, uh -huh. mom, this, this, and this, this has happened. What is I the worst thing you gangster up and make a call to your dad and tell him dad i'm pregnant well god is not going to come Gaining back the that confidence time. to tell your parents that i'm pregnant it's mm. very difficult especially but if difficult? you have your siblings or even your elder sister or brother mm -hmm. those are always the first people you'll uh, actually interact with them for to my friends that have interacted with them especially those who got early pregnancies i me were honest corner no lisa like how did you address this to your parents? They'll tell you, actually, Mimi, to be honest, Mimi, I was a kid. I was a kid to broach the topic to the parents. So, you took one in short? I was a kid. You were a kid. But, Sasa, where will you go? It has already happened. Because I believe in this situation, yeah, it has it's, already happened. it's and either you abort it or you keep it yeah. and they have to accept it because there's nothing you can do. And but also, the question is, again, what led you to you know, finding yourself in such a situation. I want to explore. Uh, oh, you're I mean exploring. I have suggested that new brain switch brain. All right. Like, uh -huh. jaribu, my friend did it. Peer yeah. pressure now. Yes. Okay. That brings us to the topic. Vijana bado wanaogopo wazazi ama wakashailewana. Right. Good one. One of Good the key debate. things we should mm -hmm. talk about is communication. Mm -hmm. The communication between parents yeah. and children or the youth, mm. which let us use the word youth. Yeah. They believe that Ukshafika at the age of 18, mm. you can identify the good things and bad things. Is it true? When you figure 18, you can see through good and bad and you're able to go. I'll no, no, this one comes in, if you, are you civilized or not? <laughs> when you're at the age of 18, personally, I believe you should be able to identify between good and bad things or the good and evil things. Mm -hmm. No one will tell you that this is alcohol, that drink this alcohol. If you've never tried it, why should, mm -hmm. then, why should you do it? You know it's evil. You've mm -hmm. seen people who drink and drink a lot and uh, they become so drunk and on a big body. Like, totally you are lewa kabisa. Yeah. And now this one even retards your reputation. Mm. Mm. So I told you are doing this and now your parents don't know about it. Yeah. And actually you need their advice. Mm. Approaching this, it's through your mother. Mm. You tell your mother. Actually for the boy child, we'll address the mother. Mom, this has happened to me and I'm finding myself lost in this. Mm. For the girl child, most of them will see them addressing their fathers. Yeah. The relationship between parents and the youth today mm -hmm. now depends with the communication. Mm. But and also, I still on that point, how does your dad uh, correct you uh, as, a, as a gentleman? Mm. I've heard stories that are like, hey, ukona, when in jinga kama, you know, they usually say when in jinga kama, they attribute it to the other parent, you know, if I don't want to say. Yeah. 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 your mom says, when you jinga kama, sujuu ya lechukwa sura, no ando kona sura kama, you know, such uh, statements actually mm. permanently are aged in 
your spirit and your mind. Yes. And you grow up with dad wounds. I hear they're called dad wounds and then there's also mom wounds where the things your mother says to you like you can't even believe mm. you came out of her like you're like you're not my mother if you're mm. saying this to me. But she is your mother. It's just that maybe for her as well she's never had a chance to learn how to communicate effectively. I don't know if you've heard this uh, parents who like when I get to a neighborhood, wait, wait, nene, and the kid they're talking to is like a two year old kid. Mm. But Zile Matusi, this mama is telling that kid, you're like, now, oh my goodness. You'll yeah. find this and now uh, bringing us to a this close attention or between the relationship between the child and the opposite parent. Mm. If my mother is telling me that they when in Jinga Kama Babako. Mm. I always speak to my father. <laughs> dad akwaji. And when I would you mind asking dad mama mese but me ni mjinga kama wewe. Actually because and see I what dad will say. You <laughs> don't want violence. Utatulia kwamba you share my dad ni mjinga. Sije anafanya nini kuangalia hivi. Now you are imaging your dad as someone who's a fool actually. Mm. And it's happening actually. Mm in most of these homes where maybe the woman is has no respect for the dad because maybe the dad is not providing because mm -hmm. i believe as well if you are a father figure and you're not providing mm -hmm. and the mother is taking all the responsibilities mm -hmm. there's a way she will make you feel it yes she will make you even if she worships at the altar every sunday mm -hmm. a preacher you are trying to get she will definitely a give a gesture a mm -hmm. <laughs> like you're the father of this house mm -hmm. and you're not providing now sasa for her if she says when him jinga kama like you said mm -hmm. She definitely has a point. <laughs> Brian, today, you also, as parents, they should raise their children in godly ways. Mm -hmm. You should uh, bring your children in godly ways, make sure they, are, they go to church. Even if they don't go to church physically, make sure they at least attend sermons, those sermons that are always online. Mm -hmm. um, today... It's a thing with Gen Z's. They don't want to go to church. Mm. On Takatua Chill and Netflix. Amata only and a club on now Saturday. Also now, this one also Mkia. depends also on you as a, a youth. Right. We are told that uh, in this in a book in, in the Bible, Hebrews, mm. in Hebrews chapter 2, chapter 1, verse 2, okay. you will say that uh, in, in the olden days, God used to speak to the people, to his, uh, his people through prophets and through ancestors at times and he could even come to them in forms of for example when you're talking to prophets in form of fire in form of dust you see the story of moses when he was talking to god through the burning bush mm. visions nini yeah nini. the visions and but now today yeah the youth uh, uh the youth um what will i say the youth the youth are not using uh, the godly ways to speak to their god yeah. They are driven by emotions. For example, today they are listening to the voice of man. You actually know that children use, use listen to the voice of God or the voice of Jesus. That's why mm -hmm. you're told that uh, in John chapter 3, verse 16, that yeah. uh, God brought his, uh, brought his son, that whoever believes in him will not mm -hmm. perish but have everlasting life. Today mm -hmm. the youth are listening to the voice of money. Ni poa kupenda pesa, lakini kupenda penda pesa ni mbaya. Now this one leads to you even going kuiba, doing something that unapata mzazi ya meleta kitu kwa nyumba. Yeah. And because you want money, you will also be Yeah. They will also lis listen to the voice of fashion. Pata mtu mm. anamua my dress, my choice. The voice of uh, drug and substance abuse. The voice of uh, immorality. Told yeah. of a story, for example, um, toto, you are in class seven. Yeah. Be just because your girlfriend or your boyfriend has not told you I love you, you are not going to sleep. They have not texted you I love you. <laughs> Unapata the relationship. Like you, you have to address this to your parents. Yeah. Uh, they also listen, uh, for example, even today, they also li uh, told of a story in Kakamega North. There was this story where a class eight, a class seven boy killed a class eight boy because of a girl. Who? Oh. Class what? A class seven boy killed a class eight boy. It was actually in because, of because of Amade. jealousy. Because of Because of a girl child in class seven. Suppo supposedly to be a girlfriend, Ama was a girlfriend to him. He was a girlfriend, she was a girlfriend to him. And now because oh. the class eight one was also kind of missing Hinting at him. Yes. Oh my oh, this one led to the so how do you judge that if you're judging court? But anyways, we, we're just about to exit, bro. But also, uh, now that you, you've brought up so many issues, I really like your mindset and, and I think we should even have like a part one and two. I like your sentiments <laughs> a lot. Um, Thank you. 
kwa especially the university students who are battling addiction mm -hmm. uh, i've heard stories of somebody who is deep in alcohol like akiwa shule yes. ni alcohol full blast like mm -hmm. yeye na pombe you not scared sijui si yezi acha pombe vile yani huwa naimba mimi sijui na pombe nene nene and but there kuna songs is not promote like drinking yes, yes sure and uh, they give a caution and say mm -hmm. you know excessive consumption of alcohol is harmful to your health not yes. for sale to persons below the age of 18 years but mm -hmm. you are 18 years and above here Mm. and you have access to alcohol mm. but okay in the home or go to sir but you are sure you are deep into alcohol mm. so uh, I'd, I'd like to hear your sentiments for anyone at higher learning in higher learning institutions mm. battling uh, addiction mm. any form of addiction you mentioned porn in there and you said it's very hard to tell your mom or dad that you're addicted to porn mm. and now that you have your your, f your smartphone, you're the only one who is controlling that mm -hmm. smartphone anyways because mm -hmm. you have access. Now there's things like OnlyFans, mm. you know, that are helping people to make <laughs> money like and doing what you've just said here. Mm. So for anyone going through that, what do you think uh, they should do if they can't access their parent and they can't access their sister? Mm. Or literally, in the case of Bran Chira, mm. he had no one. It was mm. only the grandma and they were not in constant communication. He was out here in the world alone. Mm. Yeah, and look what has just happened. Uh, the first point you're talking about the addiction, maybe for example, someone watching porn and uh, being addicted to masturbation. The solution to that actually, you finding a very, you fi to find a, a solution, you must be in a relationship. Uh, to find a solution, you must be in you a must relationship. must be in a relationship. Actually, oh. that's the best solution I can tell my my fellow boys. Oh, those who are addicted to porn yes. or get into a relationship. You see, you but it can escalate. Because you know, an addiction doesn't care if you are a pastor's let kid let me or tell you're in you a this. relationship. Bran, if today I'm um, used to watching porn and I invited my... You know, some of the parents know that their children stay in the hostels, but Ndoto Lulimpeleta Shule actually went to the hostel for one week and then got married. <laughs> they stayed with their boyfriends. <laughs> yes. So you see, if I'm close yeah. to this person, I'm going to access my phone and start watching porn. Not yeah. unless you okay. are sick upstairs. But then, look, a good example, just hold it right there. But you're having sex even more than your parents. <laughs> you're <having laughs> you're enjoying more than marriage your rights more than your yes. parents. Yes. Don't you see that's happening as compared to just what it you it said? It is happening. And by the today, even you'll see uh, in social media memes talking about, do your parents actually know that you even had more relationship relationships problems than them? You've also had more divorce than them. Mm. I'm only or you even you've washed more clothes than, than uh, your, your mama washes yeah. more clothes. And you yeah. washed for different guys. Mm -hmm. It's something that happens. It's a thing that should be addressed, right? Yeah, that one should be addressed actually. But then uh, I'm also looking the at it. If this lady, she's in her sin uh, contest of mind, and mm. she has made that decision that she will she will continue moving from one relationship to another until she, you know, they say so you will kiss so many frogs until you land on your prince. So probably she's in her kissing frog era. Grant <laughs> day, <laughs> think, yeah, on you know, social prince. media, you've uh -huh. heard of this story escalating, especially from at, at the university, uh -huh. that is uh, with names we've held from Nairobi Gossip Club, that oh, there's the this, blog. Okay. there's this girl, Chalu has confessed. Yeah. That along this this road, along uh, called Mamlaka Road, right? That uh, especially on weekend, on Fridays evening. Actually, the only story at University of Nairobi. Yeah, the University. But of then there's something that happens in there because it's true. I personally experienced. My so my sister used to school there, and I used to see Friday like there's there's a busy pickup. So you, I, for me at first, I used to think it's parents picking their kids on Friday night for mm. <laughs> like a home, and then later on I learned that. None of those men picking those girls at University of Nairobi yeah, is their parent, yes, it's sure. their boyfriend or mm. a sponsor or something else. Mm. Now, when I saw it on Communito, uh, yeah. Communito Instagram, now that you've said it, mm. and the confession that you're just about to say, I was like, what? And it's happening every Friday. Every Friday. What from Nafanya story is some called? high profile uh, <laughs> yeah. people picking them. Yeah. Mm. And where's your mom and dad while all this are happening? Comrades want money. Oh, they are doing it for money, and you see, okay. she confessed because they wanted money. Okay. For a night, you're giving seventy thousand. Right. That's good amount. The mm. second point you also talked about after now, how to address the issue of porn, and I've just said that a solution according to me, that's my postulate. Yeah. That uh, get in a relationship. Yeah. Get what about disconnecting from your mobile devices? Because the more you stay on a mobile device, mm. the more like the science will just be there. It will lead you automatically, anyways. Mm. Brand, there are sites or there are platforms on your phone uh -huh. 
yeah. that actually you should do away with them. Yeah. All right. Do we have feedback? All right, um, there's no feedback. Okay, cool. So, so bro, we have to go because okay. it's one minute to 10 a.m. Uh, your social media handle, Moja2, where people can find you uh, uh, and access you and maybe get to holler at you, Moja2. So you can get me on X at Musita, Dem at Musita underscore Dennis. All right, so I'll follow him. I definitely would like to have a part two with this guy. I thought, you know, being a solo guest, it would be tragic, but no, nope, you've gotten an excellent from me, and I loved I it. Thank it. you so much. Aya, ah, yeah, we'll definitely see you tomorrow for uh, innovations and entrepreneurship at Y244 Channel. And at Brian Sakwana 1, have a fantastic Monday. See you tomorrow. <laughs>